And now, an art analysis with art connoisseur Morgan Art. Today's piece, Thomas Cromwell. Oh, good evening. I did not see you there. As you have already been told, I am your art connoisseur for the evening, Organ Art. Today, I will be talking to you about one of my favorite pieces of art. This art piece that you can see here is called Thomas Crumb. It was painted between 1532 and 1533 by the painter Hans Holbein the Young. In this artwork, a man is seen sitting behind a table in a room gazing to the left. On this table, there is a few pieces of paper, a book, and some writing supplies. Throughout this piece of work, the artist uses color and lines to draw the viewer's attention to specific details of the painting that might suggest that this man is of noble status and possibly a lawyer. When first observing this image, the muted color palette is likely to catch the viewer's eye with an abundance of darker tones compared to lighter tones. This allows the artist to highlight the important parts of the work by using the contrast of light and dark colors to direct the focus of the viewer to specific areas. For instance, the light tones of the man's face, hands, and the paper around the painting may draw your eye to those details. In this case, it appears that the artist wants to emphasize the fact that this man is the writer of the papers around him. The next thing that the viewer's eyes are drawn to is the book that is on the table in front of this man. These highlighted details are indicative of the author's intention to depict the man's profession as a scholar or, more likely, a lawyer. Similarly, the lines in this painting are used to draw the viewer's attention to important details. Although there are many straight lines in this image, the most eye-catching lines are the natural curves of the man's coat. The lighter lining of the man's coat, as well as the outer line of the right arm, are both pointed towards the man's hand when followed from top to bottom, indicating that his hand is of importance in this painting. When looking at the man's hand, the viewer will notice the paper clutched in it, as well as the ring on the first finger. The paper reinforces the connection from the man to the papers around him, but the ring brings up a new connection to the nobility, as a man or woman of higher status would likely flaunt their power with some bejeweled ring of some sort. Together, the details of the paper and the ring tell the viewer that the man depicted in this painting is connected to the royal family and likely has some important position under the monarchy such as the previously mentioned lawyer. Today we have talked about how the color and the lines in this painting are utilized by the author to let the viewer infer that he is a lawyer and that he is somehow connected to the royal family. The artist's use of contrasting colors and natural lines helps direct the viewer's attention to the parts of the image that are vital to the message being portrayed. Thus, the details of the paper around the man and the jeweled ring on his finger lead the viewer to conclude that he is a lawyer who is very important in the monarchy. Thank you for joining me this evening. I have been your art connoisseur, Organ Art, and this has been Art Analysis with Organ Art. Thank you for joining us on this week's episode of Art Analysis with Art Connoisseur, Organ Art. Please tune in next week for another exciting episode and have a wonderful evening.